Hi, I'm Andrew from Drew and Athlete Training. Just wanted to go through with you the reason why I have put together an eight week program for uh, rehab and mobility. About a year and a half ago or two years ago, I had a disc bulge uh, L4 and L5. And for about eight weeks, I wasn't able to train. So for me, someone being involved that's uh, with training a lot and that really likes training is a really tough eight weeks, not being able to train or being stuck on uh, body weight pull ups for eight weeks. The main problem for me while I had my back injury was um, just dealing with the little day-to-day -day things. So at that time I was working in an accounting firm, so I was sitting down all day. Small things in the morning like um, trying to wash my mouth out while I was brushing my teeth was painful. Um, putting my shoes on, uh, trying to get in the car, getting out of the car, um, putting my parking ticket in the window when I was parking at work. And then obviously sitting down all day was just eight hours of pain and agony because there's no Every time, every time I did something for a long period of time, it hurt. So sitting down for long periods of time hurt. Sitting down, standing up for long periods of time hurt. Um, also things like um, washing the car, just bringing the bucket full of water out from the tap to the car, trying to bend over the um, back of my car was painful. So I don't want other people to have to go through that. And I know what I went through was preventable. Um, it could have been, I just didn't have the right information or um, the right knowledge at the time to be able to prevent that from happening. So I want to be able to pass that knowledge on to you guys and give you the tools to be able to prevent injury and not have to go through what I went through. So what I wanted to, what I had trouble with um, when I had my disc bulge was finding the right people to speak to and finding the right exercises to be able to come back to training. It took me a while to be diagnosed with disc bulge and I started with a lot of different stretches and exercises that were actually making the problem worse. And I think if that could have been diagnosed a lot earlier or I had someone that was in the know with that sort of stuff, um, I would have been able to come back to training a lot quicker. Um, however, I did pick up a lot of knowledge over this eight weeks and then obviously after that as well, after recovering and going back to training. So what I'm trying to do is bridge the gap between a physio or a massage therapist and then going back to training. A lot of people seem to go straight from training to the physio and then they, they start to get better at the physio and then they jump straight back into training, not really working on any um, strengthening exercises or working on any movement patterns to help correct it so it doesn't happen again. I find that a lot of athletes get into a cycle of um, going in their game, getting hurt while they're playing their sport or uh, lifting, wherever that may be, netball, basketball, um, going straight to the physio having time off or um, trying to work around their injury and then going back to full ball again with their exercise and not having really any progression in between. So what I want to give people is a link between um, being injured and at the physio and then returning back to training. I want people to return back to training and not have to deal with the same injury again. So when I had my back injury, I carried on for maybe about six months. I was going backwards and forwards between training, not training. Some people would tell me it's okay to go back to training. Some people would say, it's only okay to do these movements, or some people would say you need to do lots of stretching. And I found that I was getting messed around a lot and wasn't getting any further with my training and my back wasn't getting any better at the same time. And I just kept, I got stuck in that cycle of going to medical practitioners, back to training, back to medical practitioners. My training wasn't getting better and my injury wasn't getting better. So what I've put together is an eight week program that's gonna be based on a private assessment on the 10 people that will be in the program. So I want people to have individual attention. I don't want to be, I don't want people templated. Like when I hurt my back, I didn't want people, I didn't want people giving me a template that they'd given to everyone else because my situation is different to everyone else. I do a lot of weightlifting, so I want my injury to be um, repaired enough that I can return back to training and train normally and not get injured again. So many people that play netball, play basketball, um, football, cricket, they want to be able to go back to their sport and not get the same injury over and over again. They want to go to the physio, do the strengthening exercises, which, which we will do in the program, and then return back to sport and then not have to deal with the same injury. So I found that that was the, the hardest thing for me was trying to find the right exercise or trying to find the link between um, seeing medical practitioners who don't have much experience with um, sporting injuries or haven't really worked themselves in um, intense environments such as strength and conditioning. So I find that most, a lot of personal trainers have a lot of knowledge in the training side and physios have a lot of knowledge in the repair side, but there's not much in the middle to combine the two together. So we want, we want to be able to work with intensity after we've corrected our injury. So what this eight-week program is aimed at is being able to educate and arm everyone 
with exercises and um, ways of treating themselves during training over the weeks. So I understand that during training or during games, sometimes things don't always go to plan and we get little niggles. And I want people to be able to treat them themselves and have the power to look after themselves during training rather than always running backwards and forwards between the physio and then coming back to training physio and then coming back to training. I want to give people the tools to be able to look after themselves and not be constantly relying on physio appointments, chiropractic appointments all the time just to be able to play their sport. I want people to be able to look after themselves and do it in their own time as well and not constantly throwing money um, session after session at different medical practitioners and not really going anywhere with their support. So with this program, we're hoping to give everyone the information they need. They can then take that away as well after the eight weeks. So that's the goal of this is to educate people as well, as well as help them with any current injuries um, they're working with or mobility restrictions. And then I want people to be able to take that information away after the eight weeks and apply that to their training and not have to constantly rely on sessions with someone else or to make um, appointments that aren't really necessary and also to help prevent injuries as well. So increasing mobility and increasing flexibility um, allow you to get into better positions while you're training. This includes uh, so weightlifting and also uh, team sports, so like football, cricket, and sports like that, um, where there's constant movement and also there's not the same movement patterns all the time. It's slightly different. So that, for example, in cricket, there's always running, but the running's always at different intensities. So we want to make sure that you're you're preventing injury as much as you can with your out of game and out of training work and small exercises that you can do at home by yourself that you don't need to rely on someone else to always do or help you with. So I hope that by sharing my own experience, um, you've got guys that are looking to prevent injury or helping to self-manage injuries as well, um, will come and work with me and I can educate them and teach them everything I've learned from my own experience and pass that on for you guys. So I hope to see you there as part of the program. If you have any questions at all, you can PM me at the Driven Athlete training page. Otherwise, you can register at the link below. I hope to see you there.